Hey guys, and welcome back to Avoria, an amazing spaceship building, galaxy spanning, exploration game of trading, combat, and wonder. I think that'll do as an intro. What do you guys think? Welcome back, and uh, today we are planning to go through the trading system. Yes, indeed, we've gone through and we have experienced the shipbuilding, the combat, going around and finding out the uh, the whole shape of the galaxy. I say the whole shape of the galaxy, finding out the shape of this little bit of the galaxy over here, because of course that tiny bit is nothing, nothing compared to the huge, huge galaxy that we're in. But yes, today, today I wish to look into our missions and if we come over to the missions we can see that we have traded instructions and they wish to put 250 cargo space on our ship and as I think you guys can guess this is not this this is just not going to work with the design of the ship that we've got right here so I am going to spend the next sort of 20 minutes half an hour or so just playing around with this ship design here and seeing if I can build something incredibly cool for our trading needs the first thing I'm going to do, take away all these turrets. Pretty much the only thing I want to keep at the moment is this, uh, this, 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 what is this thing up the front called here? The crew quarters. I literally want to take everything else away. I don't care for the engines. I don't care for what the, what this cargo hold is back here. Yeah, we've only got three bits of, of, of neon and some scrap iron, so we're going to get rid of that as well. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And we're going to be left with this type of front arrangement here. And I'm going to use this as kind of my, um, shall we say... A bridge, you know, it's going to be the front end of the ship. What I kind of want to do is compact this uh, this crew quarter down into another bar that kind of looks like this. In fact, I've just noticed that maybe if we go and select a whole bunch of those there, we could probably merge all those blocks into one and get a bit more of a, a, a better power system out of it. Okay, cool. That is amazing. We've got an integrity field generator and our framework. Yeah, we need to like move these crew quarters. Okay, I'm loving the shape that we've got here. I think I want to kind of just slap down a little bit of armor on the top. If we go for armor there, and then I go for an edge. Edge might be a bit much. Do we have a flatter one? All right, we'll go for the edge. That, that, that'll be fine. Press the R button to rotate that bad boy around. And then, of course, you've got WASD for all the different uh, different shapings and scalings and stuff like that we want. I kind of want to pull it into a bit more of a wedge shape. Now, do we want this going all the way to the back? I think I do. I think I do. Oh, it's tempting to actually let it overhang a bit. Let's do that. Let's do that. That looks pretty cool. It's going to be just the frontage here. Yeah, okay. I like that. I like that. That's a nice little bridge section. It gives a little bit of an aggression with this uh, this sticky out bits here. Uh, we can put some sort of mounting for turrets at the front, but I think that good. it's a good, good idea for the bridge. Okay, the next thing I want to work on, and in fact they've got... Ah, oh, it's because I've got this match block here. Let's go and put something like this in place. If we can get the right the the right scaling in down i think if we do that okay beautiful that looks pretty cool i might even want to put another one up on top just for no 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 i don't like that i don't like that uh and the reason that i'm putting this here is because i want to draw make one of these types of ship i'm sure you've seen them before let's find the cargo bay let's just pop this here that's not quite the shape i want let me let me get this down into something that i'm going to be proud to to use Okay, and then I'm going to put cargo pods like this. I've got one, two, three, maybe five of them going back. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so this has now become a relatively modular section. If I was to, for instance, try and select everything that we've got up the front here, is there a, a copy and paste? There best be. Let's, let's just do it. Control C, Control V. Oh, uh, oh, and hover the mouse over the template to select the root blocks to attach it to. Huh? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Look, look at that. Bam. Just like that. But we are running out of credits. But you can see that this is now a very, very modular type of ship. If I could just be uh, copying these out, that would work out pretty well. I think we've got a little bit too much cargo space. But now I need to th fit things like uh, engines. Oh, no. Hey. Uh, yes, but no. Now I need to fit things like engines, etc. on here. Well, I just spent a great big long time having a rambly chat about the shape of this ship and how I went about renaming it. But I decided, looking back, that actually that was far too rambly. Family. Okay, so we've got a shot here. It looks like a space truck. You know, we've got like the bridge up front. We've got the engines on the side. We're gonna have secondary engines on the back, and then we've got the the equivalent of cut of cargo containers. Wow, I just really ran into that one face first. Cargo containers on the inside. I th that's kind of like the, the theme I'm going with here. Think of like a, a, a cargo ship in the real world. Also, I had to go through and rename this. Sir Hall's a lot. It's no longer the grandest entrance. Let's be honest. Uh, the grandest entrance was a scout slash mild combat ship. This is just a space truck. <laughs> uh, so, with that in mind, let's have a look and see what the mission wants us 
cards to do. I'm going to press I for my player player menu, though honestly I don't know why P isn't the player menu, but you know, let's press I for the player menu. Missions, trading instructions. The adventurer wants to teach you about the trading. He'll send you an email about that. Uh, so we've added the, the, the cargo to our space and he wants us to buy goods from a trader. Let's have a look at this uh, this message over here, shall we? If you want to make money, you should learn to how to trade. To make a profit, it's important you buy goods cheap and sell them for a lot more money. Buy low, sell high. I think we can handle that one. Let's try to buy something from the trading post and sell it somewhere else. Something from a trading post and sell it somewhere else. There is a small problem that I don't have a trading post. We do have a research station. I've never seen a research station before. I just want to be like, hey, what do you trade? We can sell stuff. We can sell anti-gravs and all this sort of stuff to it. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. So the... the Research station is an endpoint, so it's bear in mind. It's something to bear in mind. But I can't see anything that I want here. Where does that go? The east, northeast to Golden Knight and one. I don't think that's where I want to go. I I feel like we want to come down over here and maybe travel up north in our great adventure that is exploring this galaxy whilst also trying to figure out how to, you know, trade and stuff. Oh, this ship does not have good turning capabilities. I put some thrusters up at the front, but oh man, no, it doesn't. It doesn't like it. It doesn't like it at all. This is this is quite the slow turning space, but that's fine. That's fine. I suppose that gives my other ships chance to keep up with me, right? Ah, uh, please stop the sideways drift. I want to go over there somewhere. <laughs> okay, this might be a ship where we turn and look where we want to go before we actually uh, go ahead thrusting. If you guys have any uh, any more design ideas for this vessel, please let me know. It's a good idea. I particularly like the the wedge up front. I think the wedge up front is probably what this ship is all about, and I like the idea of the cargo containers. But I think the engine ourselves and maybe the framework over the top totally need more work I'm fairly sure if we doubled its length it would look uh, a whole lot better if I if I look at the side here it's, it's a bit stumpy right let's be honest it's a bit stumpy uh, so th these are all things we can work on Okay, we appear to be in a place full of asteroids, and there's a, char uh, a trading point over there. So where is my vessel? There it is. Hey, you, little mining ship, go around and do some mining. But now they want us to go and buy some stuff from the trading post, and whilst I'm fairly sure we can go too, so let's have a look at the trade goods. Uh, we're going to have some stuff. There's out-of-power units here. Is there anything maxed out? Anything maxed out at all? I'm not seeing anything maxed out. That's a shame. I was going to be like, hey, if anything's maxed out, we should totally go and grab that. We've got like a third there. Uh, this fabric seems to be overloaded. Maybe we'll go and get that, but we do have a bit of a problem because if I press I, we've only got 92 credits to our name. We need to try and sort that out. And as I've just sent my ship mining, I think I know how I'm going to get extra monies. Is it me or is my ship pointed off to the left? That that That's along the front line there. Maybe, maybe it's the way I'm looking down. Yeah, no, seriously, if I pull this down like that, look, my, my, my reticule here is not in the middle. And if, it, if I put it in the middle, we're looking like sideways down my ship. Something's, something's very wrong here and I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> I mean, maybe those cargo holds aren't in line. Maybe, maybe. Oh, oh, we're, we're drifting past too hard. Please, track to beam me in. Track to beam me in. All right, we got it. We got it. Uh, with this vessel being so underpowered, like the engines are terrible, the, uh, the, the turning circle is terrible, I'm going to be making great use of the docking mechanisms here, the, the, the track to beam. Hey, lady adventurous, how you doing? Coming screaming into my view there. Uh, we want to uh, trade resource, right? Yes, indeed. So we want to sell to the station, and I want to... Uh, let's just do another 10 grand. What's another... Let's do 20, actually. Let's do 20. We got 50, so two zero one two three and sell that bam give me 80 credit 80 thousand credits beautiful beautiful uh now i'm told actually this is chump change when it comes to trading uh almost all the guys tutorials and walkthroughs online are telling me that i need to have over a million credits in my bank to really get the benefit from trading but well, whatever i got i got i got like less than a tenth of that what could go wrong Okay, I'm going to assume this spar coming out. Yeah, indeed, is a docking port. That's that's nice. That's nice. Uh, now I'm going to come, be coming in a quite faster rate. And at some point, it's going to be like, hey, tractor beam. Uh, it's not letting me tractor beam. There we go. Ah, beautiful. A high speed dockage. Good day. You're speaking to the trading system. Yes, indeed. And I would like to trade with your goods. Mm -hmm. Buy from the station. Cool. Fab. Oh, we're nearly out of fabric now. All right, let's buy it. Let's buy 10 units of fabric. We're just doing a mission. Let's find out. Okay, so now that we've done that, what's it going to tell me? It's going to be like, oh, you needed to buy at least 250 units, right? Buy goods from a trader. No, I just... 
Mm-hmm. So I just sold it back to see whether that would trigger the mission. No, no, it doesn't. Okay, let's buy... Oh, I don't know. Let, let's, let's see if we can buy anything. Just, just an amount of stuff, right? Oh, I don't know. Seriously, let's just buy the 100 fabric and see what he does when we fly away. We'll go and try and find somewhere else to uh, to sell this off. I need to have a look at here and uh, have a look at what other gates are available to us. There's quite a lot, actually. Let's look at the map. We want to, of course, go west. As always, turn around to look where I want to go first and then fly where my ship's facing that direction. Kai really is a beast of a machine. Absolute beast. Takes forever to turn. More thrusters are a thing. Maybe we could turn this top top framework into, into some sort of thruster panel to help turn around. Maybe. Maybe. So the reason for jumping is not so much to get the, my exploration on, even though, yes, I want to get my exploration on, but actually more to try and... Oh, no, 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 that's that's not what I wanted. Thank, thanks very much. Uh, but actually more to try and trigger the mission. Uh, let me just send this guy out mining again, and then I want to come back to here and be like, hey, trading instructions. It still just says buy goods from a trader. That, so I've tried buying goods from a trade station, Let's see if there's actually just a trader, a vessel going around. I mean, lifter? Who knows? Let's have a chat. Anything interesting? What's your home set? Give me all your cargo. All right, we're not going to do that. Anything interesting? Not that I know of, but it doesn't mean anything. If you're looking for work, you should check the bulletin boards. Okay, thanks. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, ish, mate, ish. So what I'm doing is I'm... Let, let's let's show you guys. Uh, so I press F9. I then came up and I had a look at the different types of station. When I select the station, I press F and it goes, Hey, and I go, Hey, can I have a look at your trade goods, please? And I see if they're after the fabric or, you know, whatever the item in my inventory is. I, st I, st I still think P should not be the ship menu. I, th I think P should be the player menu. Nah. Okay, I found next to nothing. Hey, you, who are you? Uh, you're a freighter. Can I speak to you? Hey, how are you doing? Uh, no, no, can't trade with you either. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. All right, so what I want to do now is, of course, travel north, northwest to try and find some... Wait, there we go. That's the one. To try and find somewhere where we can offload this cargo. We're just going to be doing this traveling north slowly, but surely. When I get over there, I'm going to ask my mining ship to come and join me again, but I'm not going to do that until I get over to that gate because, man, the turning circle... The turning circle! So for people that are interested in kind of the long-term plans of, for Avorian that I've got for Avorian, uh, I'm intending this first season, this first playthrough, to kind of just be my... Uh, hey, hey, no, don't, 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 Just be my exploration ooh, 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 of the main storyline. Uh, I'm just going to play this one single player. We're going to go around. We're going to see if we can uh, fi find our way into the center of the galaxy, find out what's up. Oh, no, please. Please, ow, wanna bounce? Find out what's up uh, and uh, do, do, do that. I then uh, intend for season two to either start my own multiplayer server or to go and join another one out there. Maybe I can find a small group of uh, Let's Players that want to... You have received a stress signal from an unknown source. That's that's fine. That want to start a, um, a multiplayer server up. That that would be great. That would be the ideal one. Uh, perhaps even one that we open to the public. Because, you know, the, the map is big enough that I feel like we can just go off and do whatever it is we want to do. And because, you know, YouTubers do stuff and then record, uh, then put the video out later, we wouldn't probably actually get hassled as long as we keep moving. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Let, let me know what you think about those plans. And no, I'm not going to go help the people with the pirate ship because I, I don't have a good enough ship to do that. Oh, also, we should get my, get my guy following me again, right? Pirates are attacking, but whereabouts? Okay, there, there's all my guys. They're down there. Uh, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to get out of here. Where's, the, where's the gate? Let's just go. <laughs> that this could be, could be trouble. But I'm hoping that we can get out of here before the trouble comes my way. Okay, we're looking in the right direction. I'm now going to turn my map around so I can have a look and see what's going on. We're just through. That's fine. No problem. Look at the shape of those engines there. I feel like that's what I want. Maybe maybe just like the half of that. That, that looked like a nice round looking engine. Okay, what have we got here? We've got a trade station over there. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Still a little bit like, hey, why can't we move on with this mission? Oh, look. If I, uh, if I press this button up here it will show me my mission up in the corner i didn't know that was a thing and i'm gonna just leave that there now i really wish there was a way to look and see what these guys were doing switch to set what happens if i press switch to sector what does this do to me 
Is it gonna put me in my craft or is it gonna just leave me floating? That That's my question, that's my question. I'm hoping that it leaves me floating, but actually we're inside the ship that was in the sector. Okay, fair enough. Is that the north northwest gate? That is, that's, that's kind of where we wanna go. Let's just fly this bad boy in there on my own, right? Have to wonder, if I didn't have a ship in here, would it of... Um, put me down in a mining droid. Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. Once I've caught up with the main fleet, we'll see if we can jump to another sector that's not the one we're in. Not the one, not one with our ship in it, I think is what I'm trying to say there. All right, you get mining back there. We're back in the, the, the big hauler here, so hauls a lot. Uh, let's, let's try it. We're going to do exactly the same. Can we... No, we can't switch to sector. Okay, because you don't have a ship in there, you're not allowed to jump to it. Interesting. Okay. So does that mean that really, really what we want is to have a uh, place marker ship inside each sector? You know, just something on order of the slag sifter over there. Something that's just engine and, and control unit that just just keeps keeps your... Almost a satellite, right? Keep Keeps your nose in the system, lets you know what's going on. I think that'd be a good idea. You're not following me anymore. Uh, are you? Are you? I don't know. You probably are. Okay, cool. I'm going to this trading post to see if I can sell some stuff. I'm wondering whether I would only actually recognize a purchase of 250 units or more. That is why it asked us to put that many thing, uh, that bigger cargo hold down. Do you reckon? Do you reckon? I reckon. Okay, trading post. Here we go. Let's see if we can uh, trade goods. Are you, you going to buy some fabric off me? They won't buy my fabric off me. Ah. Uh... We do have a lot of sheep here, though. Uh, I've, I've got enough money. You see this neon here? Oh, like, we were, we literally scrapped a bunch of neon. But you see this neon here? Maybe the coolant would be a better shout. Yeah, let's go with the coolant. We're going to buy... 250 ah uh, you can only afford this many all right we're going to the resource dock and then we're coming back seems to be our big plan we will we go up to a trade network they go hey you haven't got enough money and i'll be like hold up <laughs> more i'm looking at it the more i'm fairly sure i've put these uh these cargo pods on in an asymmetrical manner i'm about to crash into that oh no oh no oh no bump 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 <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Oh, now, no, 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 Lady Adventurous, stop, stop, stop. Oh, no, this is all going very bad all of a sudden. Lady Adventurous, you really need to stop. How do I, how do I get her to stop? How do I get her to stop? Lady Adventurous, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Did it work? Have we, have we stopped her? I, th I, th I think we did. Just about stop her. Whoo. There really needs to be some sort of setting in the game where you can tell a ship to not attack people that are friendly. You, you know, there was no need, no need for that to become a serious situation there. Totally my bad flying. Totally my bad flying. It'd be nice if there was just a follow me, not necessarily escort me, you know? That that would also be a good one, because we're not we're not in combat situations here. There is no need for my ships to be aggressive right now. I suppose there's always a need to protect me, but you know you know what I'm saying? It's, it would be nice if we had options. Okay, let, let's try and not crash into the station this time. Oh, it's going to happen anyway, isn't it? I am bad at this, it turns out. Are we going to have to instantly tell the Lady Adventurers to stop? Was there damage? Was there damage? Is this a problem? I think we're all right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as I was saying, we're gonna trade some stuff here. Uh, I wanna, I wanna buy a load of stuff. Uh, at least 250 of some unit here. So, uh, I mean, with the volume being one, that means we just get 250 of those, right? All right, I'm gonna do it neon. Uh, the reason being that what I was gonna buy the coolant is uh, half volume, and that means we'd have to buy more. And I'm not about that. You must be docked to the station. To I thought it was. Ah, no. What? Why? So, as I say, buy, buy the neon. Grab 250 items and not get the trigger for them. Ah, why is you not triggering, my friend? Why is you not triggered? I feel triggered. I feel super triggered. I'm gonna sell all this neon back. Ah, we're gonna we're gonna move on. And during the course of moving on, I'm gonna look up them on the internet and find out what's going wrong here. All right, I've had a look on the internet and I've only really found one page that has anything to do with anything. And uh, this this is what it says here, that maybe there is a break in the Lua programming and maybe something's been typed wrong somewhere. I am not fluent in Lua, so I can't even really go and have a look. I, I mean, I suppose I 
could could try and figure it out but i'm not going to i'm going to carry on just recording this uh, and i'm going to try something else i'm flying back towards the trading post here because if i open up my messages uh if you want to make money you should learn how to trade to make profit it's important you buy goods cheaply and sell them for a lot let's try to buy something from a trading post and sell it somewhere else all right let let's just try that let's just see if that works uh, I, I, according to that post, though, that was only made, you know, a week or two ago. Well, in fact, a few weeks ago now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, according to that post, this probably isn't going to work. But, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll make it work somehow. Do we reckon water is purchased in lots of different places? What, what do we reckon is going to get burnt elsewhere? I'm, I'm just going to take a punt on water. We'll take a, a hundred units of water. And uh, we could go back. I mean, you know, like the potato farm is probably going to actually take water. But we do have two branches going off east and west so i think we're going to go east and just see what the universe has to offer you know other than taking far too long to make this video what else am i doing with my life wow that's an interesting glow over there i wonder what that's supposed to be all right anyway let's press f9 let's have a look lots of plastic manufacturers any of you guys take water uh, I, I hope you take water let's have a look at the trade goods sell to energy sales or oil okay fair enough let's just move on to the next place well, that's a different type of station. What are you? It is a scrapyard. Oh, wow. Look at this. We've got a whole bunch of, of wreckage around. Am I, have, I, have I entered into a dead end here? I think I might have. Yeah, I have. Okay. That, I mean, that's cool. That's cool. But what is this? Oh, I'm going to press F and have a look. All right. Hey, good day. You're talking to the automated interaction system. Yeah, I want to have a look at this scrapyard. Okay. Warning, you do not get refunds for crew or turrets. Uh, buy a salvaging license. Dismantle turrets into good... Wow. Oh, what's this? Okay, let's try this rubbish one down. Wow, well, we'd have to go and have a look. But what happens if I click on it? What can we turn it into? Ammunition, steel, aluminium, and... Okay. Oh, so there is... There is a path in this game for scrapping a bunch of pirates up, bringing their rubbish over here and getting a bunch of material out of it. Okay, that's cool. I'm done with this sector though. It's one of the things that really draws me to this game. Like, I sensed the possibilities when I first booted up this game and had a little bit of a fly around. But now, since we've been doing oh, something like, uh, are we on seven or eight episodes? Oh, I'm going to hit the side of this again. <laughs> but we've been doing so many, uh, so many episodes, and almost every episode so far, we have found a new opportunity for exploiting the resources or the uh, situations around us. Uh, and it... It just really doesn't seem to be an end to it at the moment. This is great. This is amazing. Like, how many different people could you have on a multiplayer server doing different ways of making money? Yeah, it'd be great. New sector, new resources, but actually there's there's not a great, great deal going on here. We go back to the potato farm factory. Okay, this cocoa farm seems to want to buy a bunch of water. Let's let's go and sell it to them. I thought I thought I was going to go to the potato factory, but no. A ship in your sector? What? As in th this sector? A ship in this? Oh man, we can't help him. Uh, I mean, I suppose we can go give it a go. We've got integrity fields and stuff. I mean. What, what's likely to be happening here? Uh, this is a bandit. We don't see an Omicron. I, j I just need to go get, like, roughly involved, right? And they'll be like, oh, thank you so much. You did the mission. Uh, hopefully before this guy comes along and finishes me up, or finishes them up before I can even get a look in there. Ah, uh, I mean, like, all so good, but... Let let's try and get close. Let's try and get close. I can't, I can't even throw any bullets at it. Well, did that count? Did it count? This guy. Hi, how you doing? You doing all right, Mr. Freighter? Let's have a quick chat with you. Uh, here's the ship. What is it? Uh, all right, fair enough. I, th I thought we'd done all right trying to help you, but no. I'm going to go around and just salvage all this stuff now. Of course, saying I'm going to salvage all this stuff and having the turning circle to actually do so, two separate things. Okay, those two turrets seem to be the only decent things around. All right, Co Coco Farm, is that you? That is you. All right, let's try and get back that way. Gave, gave my mining ship time to top up my iron iron reserves. It's cool. Okay, here we go. F final attempt to try and get something working on this quest. Go. We sold it somewhere else. Did it do anything? Let's check the mail. Oh, it's not done it. Ah. I think we 
we made some money, though. I, I, I did. Th I do feel like we made some money. Okay, I, I'm gonna go look for site guys, and we'll pick this up with how I feel like we should actually be doing the trading. Oh, would you believe we've got to go all the way back from where we started from as well? What just happened? What just happened? I was literally just a what? Ha! Huh? It came into the gate. Boom! Dead. Uh, I can only assume that the Lady Adventurous once again schemed to take out the mining ship, jealous as she is of any any um, any attention that's given to any vessel that's not her. Though she can't mine. I just, uh. Oh, and I think that blew up our mining turret. Lady Adventurous, oh, we've got to talk about this. But anyway, it's taken us an entire episode to get here, but let me show you how we really should have started this this is uh, this actual episode if it wasn't for the fact that we got sidetracked by the mission. I'm just going to cruise on in here and use my docking abilities. Hopefully it's going to let me... No, 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 I want the tractor beam. Thank you. Tractor beam me in. All right, beautiful. Hey, you're talking to the thing. I would like to have uh, trade equipment, if please. Uh, and somewhere in here, hopefully, we have the basic trading system. Unfortunately, I, I kind of... Did want the better one but it's not available to us so we're just gonna have to buy that one press p for ship go to your systems and i, I just sorry i just kind of like shook my head at the screen there i know you guys didn't see that uh, and pop down wherever i can find it the basic trading system we're gonna pop that in over here uh, and we get a new new trading overview up there also let's uh, I've, I've got some problems here and i need to try and fix them up because i'm not got a whole bunch of stuff that put in. Let's do the engine overlay and the radar overlay. Beautiful. What do we need here? Processing power of more required. That's fine. I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. The trading overview. Let's click that and see what we get. Look, you get to have a look at what you can buy from all the stations and what you can sell to all the stations. Ah, as we level up, it becomes uh, much, much more... Uh, useful to us it will show us things that, that are a bit more useful like um, system and not just uh, sorry not just system wide but universe uh, galaxy wide as well well this is another one of those situations that could really easily balloon into like a 40 minute long episode but i think we're gonna call it there we have gone around we have found out that the trading instructions mission might not be working put bug report in we're gonna find out about it we're gonna do our best to do what we can the repair doc can i uh, repair my vessel please reconstruct we've got a token let's do that oh, thanks very much and of course i need to uh I need to get back in there if I'm going to fix it, don't I? But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this bug-filled adventure. I will see you guys next time when we're going to do some trading that's actually based on, you know, actual trading advice rather than just trying to appease a random bit of text in the top right of my screen. But I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!